Do you have the papers? If we publish this, we could all go to prison. Okay, it's your decision. What's next? You know what my husband said about the news. He called it the first rough draft of history. This movie was the first time I got a chance to direct Meryl Streep in a full motion picture. I've always admired Stephen's films, but I was never asked to dance before, and so I was just thrilled that he was going to direct this. The Times has 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. I had Tom Hanks for our fifth film together as an actor-director partnership, and it's the first time Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks have ever acted together. That was an honor to witness that and be part of that. As soon as I read it, I counted it up, the scenes I had with Meryl. <laughs> How many do I have with Meryl? How many times am I going to get to have that opportunity? If you publish, we'll be at the Supreme Court next week. Meaning? Well, we could all go to prison. I cannot imagine anybody else playing Catherine Graham. It was an extraordinary transformation. I don't know how Meryl did it, and I'm the director. If we don't hold them accountable, who will? We can't hold them accountable if we don't have a newspaper. There's not a moment in which she is not reacting to you, and none of it is preordained. It was magical. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham? Every time we work together, Tom continues to surprise me, and Tom brought the essence of Ben to life in his portrayal of Ben Bradley. You're talking about exposing years of government secrets. Is that legal? What is it you think we do here for a living, kid? Yeah, everyone knows he's got the reputation of being the nicest guy, but he's also really smart. And that's a thing that he shared with Ben Bradley, how just a few steps ahead of everybody he is in the room. If we don't publish, we will lose. The country will lose.